Hey, this is the uh, morning of uh, day 13. I'm in uh, Franklin, North Carolina. I came in last night to uh, resupply. My resupply didn't go so well, so I'm hoping I don't run out of food. But anyway, uh, and uh, but the main reason I came in was to get uh, that my last uh, video uploaded, days uh, 10 through 12. So uh, I'm off today, and I think it's going to be a fairly short hike today. Um, uh, and there's uh, supposedly some rain uh, moving in tomorrow, so we'll see uh, how things go. I'm waiting for uh, my shuttle right now, that it should be here in about uh, a little over five minutes. Uh, and then I'll head back to uh, where they picked me up uh, at Rock Gap, and uh, I'll be on the trail again. Okay, so I've been hiking uh, about an hour today, so I thought I'd stop and do a quick little video. So, uh, yeah, my uh, dilemma now is I wasn't able to uh, resupply the way I wanted to uh, in Franklin, uh, and uh, mainly because uh, there was a Walmart in town, but it was a little over a mile away from uh, my hotel, and uh, I didn't feel like uh, hiking an extra two and a half miles uh, because I, I do have... Uh, you know probably three days worth of food but I was thinking about actually it's about time I think my body could use a little rest I was thinking about maybe doing a zero which means uh, I would need an extra day's worth of food and I'm not really sure where the next opportunity for me to uh, get off trail and resupply might be so that's my big dilemma right now uh, and uh, you know who knows I might get uh, get lucky and uh, you know run across some uh, trail magic along the way so we'll see how it goes Well, I've made it to the uh, Siler Bald uh, shelter and campsite, and uh, I've uh, got my uh, tent set up, and uh, I've got my uh, my bear bag hung. So uh, I'm all, I'll have to take that down later t to fix myself some dinner. But uh, right now, I'm the uh, only one here. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to be here all by myself uh, tonight or not. But right now, I've got the whole place to myself. And uh, so I'm going to head back to my tent, hunker down for a while, and uh, take a look at um, my Far Out app and the guidebook and uh, the weather forecast and uh, plan uh, my next few days. OK, it's the beginning. It's the uh, beginning of day. Uh, uh, 14 I guess uh, and it's going to be raining all day today although right now it's just really foggy and a little bit of drizzle and I hope it's uh, if it stays uh, just a little bit of drizzle all day it won't be too bad but it's uh, forecast for all day long and I think the last forecast was 75% uh, and a little more rain but we'll see uh, and uh, yeah I think uh, I'll uh, not uh, not uh, today, but uh, at the end of the day tomorrow, I'll be able to um, get, uh, actually I'm gonna be going into really kind of a cool place where I'll be able to, to resupply. Won't even need to take a shuttle, I don't think. Uh, and uh, I might, uh, I think that's probably where I'm gonna do my zero uh, and do some editing and, and uh, upload uh, this video.
okay, I'm uh, about two hours into my hike today. And uh, yeah, looks like it's gonna be raining uh, all day long. So uh, it is what it is. And uh, I will, uh, I'm hoping to make it to uh, Cold Spring uh, where I can camp tonight. Hoping to make it there before 4.30 if I can. So yeah, another five and a half, six hours of hiking. And it uh, looks like it's going to be rain all the way. Okay, I got to the uh, the Cold Spring uh, shelter and campsite. And uh, I'm surprised that I'm the only one here. Uh, yeah, it was a cold, rainy uh, hike. But there were a couple of people that left um, uh, Siler uh, Ball Dust this morning uh, before me and said they were heading here and I don't see them. Uh, they left before me so I don't know uh, if they got uh, off trail or what. But uh, yeah, I'm surprised that I'm the only one here. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna try to, it looks like, and finally the rain has finally stopped, I think. I'm gonna give it a little bit more time and then the, the camping area is, is uh, down that way and I'll go, uh, set up my tent once I think uh, most of the rain has uh, finally stopped. It's still a, a little bit of sprinkling here and there. So yeah, I'm kind of worried about uh, the people that uh, left before me and told me they were they were coming here. And I can't imagine that they would decide to go any further than this. So, oh well. Okay, it is it's uh, the morning of day 15 and no one ever showed up at uh, Cold Spring Shelter last night. So I spent the night alone. In fact, it was the first night I actually slept in a shelter and sit in my tent because it never stopped raining. And uh, it was just easier for me to stay in the shelter, especially since no one else was there. Uh, I'm on my way down to uh, get my bear bag. I uh, hung my bear bag down a little bit closer to where I was intending to uh, set up my, my tent. So, yeah, this is the start of day 15, and uh, I've got a little treat for myself at the end of the day today. Uh, that zero that I was thinking about taking a couple days ago, I'm going to uh, probably take tomorrow. And um, uh, I've uh, there's a uh, little uh, recreation area where people uh, kayak and do a lot of fun stuff that the trail goes right through. And... Uh, I'm going to, uh, I've got a bunk reserved for uh, tonight. So that'll be nice after a very wet, cold, wet day all day long yesterday. It's just gonna be a little chilly today and uh, muddy. I'm sure the trail's gonna be muddy. Uh, but let me get my bear bag down and we'll get this day started. All right, so uh, this is the first place uh, with a nice view today. The sun is finally coming out, uh, which might be because I'm obviously above all the clouds uh, down there. So uh, who knows what it's gonna be like. Uh, I just uh, finished uh, one of my ascents and I'm and starting down uh, right now. So I've, I'll have another uh, pretty good ascent to do today, but it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, the trail is still very muddy and wet and uh, so and slippery. So I'm, I'm being, uh, very careful, but uh, yeah, this is a uh, pretty nice view. So I uh, thought I'd stop and get a little bit of video. Yeah, and uh, one more thing. Uh, it was so wet yesterday. I thought that I had uh, all my uh, equipment, including my phone, uh, well protected from the, the rain, but uh, my phone uh, is, is working, but it will not charge. And the indication is saying it's because of moisture uh, in my phone, so I'm hopefully hopefully that will dry out. And unfortunately, uh, my battery is almost dead because uh, when I tried to to charge it this morning, it was telling me it wouldn't charge because of the moisture in the phone. So it is still working. Uh, I'll, so I'm going to try not to. I'm not going to be taking any photographs with it today, uh, and uh, and um, only use it in the event that I need to check my GPS, uh, my my Garmin, I should say, or not, not my Garmin, my uh, far out just to make sure that I'm still on the trail. But the trails have been uh, pretty well marked. Uh, hopefully I won't have to do that at all. 
hopefully I'll get to my uh, my luxury stay tonight uh, in, a, in an actual bed with little luck uh, and um, let my phone dry out and be able to charge it up. Uh, if, if not, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. We'll figure it out, out, you know, uh, if it happens. Okay, so uh, the end of uh, day 15, and it was uh, an exhausting day. Uh, yesterday was uh, rained all day long, and uh, when I finally got to uh, to um, Cold Spring, I was uh, drenched through and through, as uh, as well as all my gear. Uh, and so today I walked uh, to uh, the. Uh, Nantahala uh, Outdoor Center. Uh, the Appalachian Trail goes right through that uh, real conveniently and it has a place for me to resupply and a restaurant where I just had a terrific meal to fill myself up. I was out of food, uh, absolutely out of food. So this, this came uh, just at the right time. And um, so yeah, I checked in. They, they also have these uh, these bunks here, uh, these little cabins. So I've got a, a, a very modest little cabin all to myself uh, and it even has a heating and air conditioning so that's really convenient because my big dilemma was even though I thought I was keeping my phone um, dry uh, during that rain um, yesterday evidently uh, I, well I was drenched through and through so it makes sense that somehow or another uh, even in my water resistant uh, pouch that I had this in uh, some moisture got in here and so it's not allowing me to charge right now because it's detecting liquid in the thing. I've, I've been able to use it, uh, but not charge it, and it uh, is the, uh, the battery is exhausted now. And every time I, I try to plug it in, it's still saying it's detecting uh, liquid uh, in there. So I've had it sitting on this uh, heater right here, uh, and hopefully that's going to uh, evaporate the whatever liquid is, is in there and it will let me charge. It was working and there were a couple of times I pulled it out today just to uh, check uh, my far out to make sure I was, you know, on, on the trail. Uh, but anyway, it was uh, an exhausting day today. I, um, I, I, when I first started off, I thought, oh great, this is just uh, all downhill, but it was uh, an extreme downhill. And, and in fact, there were uh, uh, times when uh, it was so, uh, I was climbing on rocks and from one rock to the next was more than, you know, I could step down to even with my poles and um, which made it really dangerous uh, with a pack on my back. So I took the pack off and just sort of dropped it down and then, you know, turned around and, and climbed down and then I'd have to reload my pack again and do that. And there were a few times I had to do that today. So uh, even though most of it was downhill today, it was uh, probably more exhausting than a lot of the... Uh, the uphill climbing and, and also I could definitely uh, feel it on my knees so today which I thought was going to be an easy day after that uh, water soak today yesterday uh, I was exhausted and when I came in to, to check in I, I I wasn't really even completely coherent uh, and when they were giving me instructions on how to get up to this uh, little uh, bunk up here so but it, it is what it is and I'm glad that I didn't take that zero day back in Franklin uh, because it's uh, I'm going to take a zero day today because I'm I'm definitely ready for a zero for myself to fully recover. Uh, hopefully that restaurant where I had dinner tonight is open for breakfast, and I will have some breakfast uh, in the morning. 
and uh, hopefully I'm going to check my phone again and uh, hopefully my, I'll be able to charge my phone so that I can you know edit this video and get something uh, uploaded uh, real soon so yeah there it is uh, day 15 uh, day 16 is going to be a zero so I'll do a little uh, vlog um, little vlogging uh, tomorrow I'll sit down and probably watch the people kayaking and there's kayaking and zip lining and all kinds of stuff in this uh, recreation center so there's a lot of people here in fact most of the people here are not through hikers I have seen two of them however uh, and um, so yeah it is what it is there's day 15 okay so day 16 is going to be a zero at the Nantahala Outdoor Center Well, I just put a load of laundry in. They've got a laundry mat here, and I'm waiting for that to go. And uh, I'll finish uh, editing up this video and, and start uh, uploading it. And uh, yeah, this is a nice uh, zero day for me. My legs could use the rest, get some laundry done, and I'll have a good, another good meal uh, tonight, and uh, maybe even some breakfast in the morning before I take off on uh, day uh, 17 of uh, my time here on the application.